hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to bind data into a bootstrap multi select drop down checkbox control in ASP.NET using jQuery CDN so here we got the final output please select the country drop down list Australia China UAE India New Zealand select all and select all that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates right now in this source page contains a simple HTML5 code with some header tags h1 h2 and a horizontal line now after the horizontal line I'm adding one list box control to create a multi select drop down list checkbox control go to toolbox here the list box after adding the list box control now my next step is we'll create the data source connection string in the web.config file let's open the server explorer right click the data connections add connection the server name is after adding the server name I am selecting the database name sample DB is my user database I am selecting that one test connection which is succeeded ok and here we got the sample db database connection string I need the data source of this sample db connection right click the sample db.dbo properties data source let's copy this one now we'll add this connection string in the web.config file go to solution explorer web.config file open that one now inside the configuration I'm adding connection string add name is equals to my connection is my connection name connection string I'm pasting the data source connection string data provider provider name system dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string in the web.config file let's switch over to the source code now right click the source code view code I'm adding the namespaces of the SQL server using system dot data using system.data.sql client using system.configuration now in the page load I want to bind data string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I am adding my connection string name dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection which takes the parameter of this main con variable string SQL query now the SQL query statement is a select statement before writing that select statement let's visit my SQL server database we'll check the table and the column name I just logged into Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio I'm expanding the databases sample DB is my user database I'm expanding that one as well as the tables and for this video tutorial I'm using the table search box let's browse the table right click that one select top thousand rows A 
and here we got the results of this checkbox table contains two columns checkbox id ch id and ch name and ch id is a auto generate column now i want to bind this chk name column into the list box control after that i will make that list box control into the multi select drop down list control using bootstrap and jquery let's switch over to the asp.net code behind we'll write the select statement select the column name is check name copy that one and pasting here from the table name dbo.checkbox sql command sql com is equal to new sql command which takes two parameters one is a command text sql query comma and the second one is a connection string variable which is a sql com sql connection dot open method after open method i'm using sql data reader to read the data SQL data reader SDR is equals to SQL command dot execute reader method if SDR dot has rows if the column contains rows I want to bind that into the list box control the list box one which is the ID of the list box control data source is equals to sdr list box one dot data text field is equals to the data text field is a column name which is a check name list box one dot data value field the value field is a auto generate column let's grab that one also chid I'm pasting here and i'm binding the data source list box one dot data bind method the last one i'm closing the connection string close method here in the select statement we'll add stop select star from table name because we are added the chid column also that's it let's check the output on the browser google chrome and here we got the output of that code countries are added into this list box control now the last final step let's make this list box control to multi select drop down checkbox control using bootstrap and jquery cdn First, we'll visit the getbootstrap.com website. We'll grab the latest CDN links. Getbootstrap.com. The Bootstrap version I'm using 4.1.0. If you want to use the lower version, you can choose from here. But I'm choosing the latest version 4.1. Get started. Come to the bottom the css and js cdn links are here the first i am copying the css link copy and stop debugging switch to the source mode between the header section i am adding the css link again switch back to the getbootstrap.com We'll add the JS CDN links. Yes, here. After adding the Bootstrap CDN links, CSS and JS, now we need the jQuery Bootstrap multi-select CDN links. Type here jQuery Bootstrap multi-select CDN Google. I'm choosing the first link bootstrap hyphen multi select notice here there are some more links are there multiple select and bootstrap select but we need to select the 
bootstrap multi select the first one click that one copy this css link and this version is 0.9.15 i'm copying this link link uh, is equals to style sheet href paste here type css file now we need the js script also i'm copying the bootstrap multi select dot js link script source is equals to i'm pasting here after adding the bootstrap and multi select cdn links i'm adding here one small script type text javascript I'm creating a function dollar function dollar between single quotes I'm adding the list box one id hash dot multi select include select all option colon true and here in the list box selection more multiple please select the country that's it we have done the coding part let's check the final results on the google chrome So here we got the final output please select the country drop down list australia china uae india new zealand select all and select all that's it